Linda, thanks for coming out to the clinic. I hope you got a lot out of it. And we're going to start off with your underwater video here. Uh, first thing I want you to notice is when you're putting your hands in the water, look at that downward angle which you're putting the, the hand in and then look at your glide position. The idea is to have a nice straight line between your hand all the way down your hip and you've got a nice uh, angle down there. Also, the shoulder is very low. So where, right as you put your arm in the water, it's, it's almost like you're putting the brakes on. It's slowing you down quite a bit. So the thing you want to do is stop focusing on driving that hand down and try to reach further out in front of your head, put the hand in the water, and then extend from the shoulder forward. Don't roll the shoulder under like you're doing there. See that shoulder position there? You want to, you want to push the shoulders forward. You don't want to roll the shoulders. In other words, your body rotation is the hip rotation. So the hips rotate, the shoulders extend. And that's basically what you want to think about. The other thing is when you're rotating to the left side, when you're not breathing, you're not, you're not getting enough rotation on that side. So what you're trying to do is really rotate your shoulders and you need to focus on rotating your hips. You can see right, uh, right there and there, there's not a lot of hip rotation. So try to drive the rotation from the hips and not the shoulders. So the primary issue is you're just driving everything down underwater and just slowing you down so much. Main thing, so that you want, that's the main thing you wanna work on. Now your pull, uh, once, you get, um, once you get your arms straight out in front and you start your pull, uh, you wanna get your elbows out a little bit wider than you are now uh, when you pull back because you have a stronger pull when you're wider. The other thing is, is if you start pulling real low there with a low shoulder like that, but there, and it's real hard to recover from that. So main thing, I'd like you to do some heads up freestyle. That'll help uh, reduce some of the, the shoulder rotation and try to focus on the hip rotation. And you can actually see where the hand goes in. Make sure the hand, elbow, and shoulder are just right below the water, not six or eight or 12 inches under the water like they are now, even a foot and a half there on those, those hands. And really focus on straightening out everything. <clears throat> Here's your above water. One thing is you're, you've got nice high elbows, but I'd love to see them wider. See how that right one is all the way behind your head? That's showing me you're over rotating. So we want to have the, the elbow come up and you want to come around the side instead of over the top of your head basically the main thing that I think you need to focus on. You can see you can see how high those elbows are. They're back behind your head right there and there. So if you want to when you when you pull back and you finish try to sweep the elbow and hand out to the side. Your hands coming out in the right position just you have a real real high elbow and that's just an indication of you know the over rotation. So the heads up freestyle I think will really be a great drill for you to do to help flatten out the shoulders a little bit. Remember, rotate the hips and extend with the shoulders. Don't rotate the shoulders and let the hips follow. All right? Best of luck to you.